hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm gonna do a little get ready with you guys kind of updating you guys on my life and what's been going on so if you guys don't follow me on all my other social medias um i did announce that i am pregnant with my fourth baby which i'm super excited for and i kind of just wanted to bring you guys a little story time about how i found that i was pregnant and how everything just kind of went about um so if you guys are interested then stay tuned and just keep on watching i'm gonna get ready with you guys i'm not gonna be mentioning the products or anything but if you guys have any questions, comment down below and then I'll let you guys know what I am using. This is going to be like such a super easy everyday soft glam. Um, the lighting is way different and the quality is horrible. But I am recording on my phone today because my freaking laptop just crashed on me. And I can't edit from my camera to my laptop because it doesn't work. So yeah, just bear with me. I wanted to get this video, guys. I wanted to get this video out for you guys as soon as possible because I do have two more fun videos that I do want to do with you guys, which I'm super, super, super excited for. Um, but yeah, if you guys are not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe down below. My name is Yesenia and I do cooking videos. I do vlogs. I do um, just a little bit of edit everything. Honestly, I do like fashion. Um, I will leave my Instagram down below. I am very active more on like my Instagram and my TikTok. Um, I had fallen off for a while, but I am coming back. So I just wanted to bring you guys a little video. I've been super absent on my YouTube channel and I'm so sorry for that. But I do want to make this video super short, simple, straight to the point. So I'm going to get straight into the video. First things first. So I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to put some primer on my face. Um, I have so much to do today, but I did want to get this video off for you guys today, um, this week. Um, so today is uh, December 14th, I believe. And this weekend, I actually have my gender reveal, so I'm super excited. I do want to record and have that up for you guys. My computer should be done, hopefully, by next week. And I will have my gender reveal video out for you guys by next week. But, um, yeah, so I am in my second trimester already. That's kind of why I wanted to do this video, because I was so scared. Like, you know, they say to wait for your second trimester, because anything can happen. Your first trimester is always, like, the most... Um, you know, it's not like the safe zone, I should say. Um, so now that I'm in my second trimester, I kind of just, you know, wanted to do this video. Um, so I did find out I was pregnant back in the beginning of um, October. Was it October? Yes. And um, I will insert some clips at the end of this video of me finding out and stuff. But I did record on my phone. It wasn't like planned or anything. So I kind of just was on my phone. I was by myself and I was like in my feelings and I was just recording. Um, so yeah, that's how it kind of went about. But um, long story short, I was like two days late on my period. So I took a pregnancy test and it came back positive super faint line nothing crazy but i was pregnant so i was like shoot like you know um we weren't like trying yet because technically i wasn't supposed to try till another month but we were not not trying like um it was just one day i promise you it was just one day that we just it was a drunken night it wasn't planned it wasn't nothing and we just got pregnant i guess um like i've always said i feel like everything in life happens for a reason and if you guys have been following me for a while you guys do know that um i'm not gonna get emotional on this video and i'm not gonna cry but 2021 has been the hardest year i have ever had to experience in my 25 years of my life if you guys didn't know i did lose my brother this year in july so this year has been a roller coaster and like I did say, I'm not going to cry. You can hear it in my voice. I know, but I'm not going to cry because that's not what I'm here for. I don't I don't need anybody to feel sorry for me or anything. But I kind of wanted to throw that out there because I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely feel like everything in life happens for a reason. And only God knows why. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in march april i had an ectopic pregnancy which was so uncalled for i didn't even know what that was to be honest like i was so confused and so lost i never even knew what that was um i just found out i was pregnant i didn't even know i was pregnant and i was already like two months and i was getting pains and long story short it was an ectopic pregnancy um and we weren't even trying for a baby or anything yet but i think after all that happened 
we were kind of like we want another baby like you know so um yeah me and carlos talked about having another baby obviously our fourth one which is um i don't know if you guys do follow me on my other social medias but i did announce it and this is my last pregnancy this is my fourth and my last pregnancy so i am enjoying every bit of it i am not going to complain i am so grateful to be pregnant again like this pregnancy has been such a different pregnancy than my other pregnancies um but like i did say i'm so grateful i don't care if it's a boy or a girl whatever i'm having i'm just grateful i'm just praying for a healthy baby and that's all that matters um but back to like my story so um i found out i was pregnant i went to the doctors because um i had the topic pregnancy and when you have an ectopic pregnancy you need to go ch get checked out right away because you can have another topic pregnancy and it's super dangerous um you can have like some complications and stuff and they just wanted to make sure like you know so um i went and about that time i was about maybe like six weeks so it was super early but i didn't know how far along i was um so i went i got checked long story short they told me i was having another topic pregnancy so they were like you know what like this and that we're gonna wait a little bit we're gonna have to do some blood work on you blah 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 fast forward to about like a week later um i did my blood work and everything and then a week after that i had to go back to the doctor so i went to back to the doctor and she's like you know what like your hormones are rising i don't know if you guys um know but we have these things called hcg levels and those are basically like your hormones and if they double every i believe 48 hours um that means like your pregnancy is going well if they drop you're miscarrying and if they just plateau which is they just stay um more than likely you're having an ectopic so that's a little bit of some information for you guys if you guys are pregnant um so long story short she's like your numbers are rising but um i do see something in your ovary they had found something in my right ovary so they were diagnosing me with another topic so she wanted to send me to the hospital i was crying and crying and crying and crying she made me go do more blood work and then i came back two days after that and she's like your numbers are still rising you know what and then i told her you know what when i was diagnosed the last time they kept telling me it was my right ovary as well so can it be that you guys are seeing the same thing that i had which is called a i don't know the term for it something about like a ovum it's basically a cyst that i had on my ovary and she's like you know what hold on so um i had told her that she went to go inform the office and when she was informing the office um the girl from the ultrasound came in and she's like you know what um i'm glad you're still here i seen you were here she's like i wanted to speak to the nurse to see if there's a way that i can scan you again because when you were here last time and i scanned you um basically when they scanned me there was nothing in my uterus so basically they were just kind of like going based off of that and they're like you're basically having another topic <sighs> which i'm sure they just wanted to take all precautions to make sure that all goes well but i just was praying i was crying i was going through it those days that they had sent me home and i'm just like please not again like you know like just not again you know and if it did happen then everything happens for a reason you know what i mean like i'm i've always been a big believer that everything happens for a reason so um my nurse comes back in and she's like you know what yes that's fine can we do another scan so then the girl takes me to the scanning room and she's like going through me and she's like you do have uh something on your right ovary it's still the same size it hasn't grown which is good um but let me scan your uterus so as soon as she gets to my uterus i seen like this little thing and i was like is that the baby and then she just looks at me and she's like let me scan you again so she's scanning me and i'm there and she's making me so nervous like i am so nervous and yeah she's like look looks like you are pregnant she's like i see baby in there i started crying and crying and crying i had already told my mom that's why i don't have any cute videos i wanted to like surprise my family and do cute videos but I was going through it. I was already so scared. And after the year that I've had, like, I just wanted my mom to know. And um, I'm a big firm believer in prayer and stuff. So I had told my best friend and she told um, the Bible study so that they can pray for me and stuff. So basically everyone 
kind of had to know because I needed them more than anything. Like, you know, I needed, I needed that bit of faith. I'm not going to get too into it, but that was a very scary moment for me. And fortunately, I had a baby in my uterus. So I was just so grateful for that. Like, let me tell you, that was such a relief because when they did tell me it was another topic, I was just like, are you serious? Like this past year, I can tell you that I have questioned my faith more than I've ever have in my whole life. I am a firm believer of, you know, my religion and stuff. Everyone is different to each their own. Everyone has their own beliefs. But I just always had a belief and I know that in my heart, like I believe in God and I know that with God, anything is possible. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically how I go about things. And um, so, yeah i go to the doctor and she scans me and that was basically it so i had to have a few scans since i wasn't high risk so i don't want to say i'm high risk but i was more of like uh, they had to be more cautious with me i guess you should say so i had more scans and yeah so i was super excited i don't have any of my ultrasounds here but at the end of this video i will insert some clips and things that you guys can see i didn't take you guys along with me like i did say i was so nervous and i think that's when my anxiety my pregnancy anxiety started to kick in because then I was just like, every time I go restroom, I would wipe and I would check to see if like I would see anything. And I, I've just been so traumatized. Like I just, I'm just praying for a healthy full term baby, for everything to be okay. And whatever God wants to give me, God's going to give me everything at God's timing. I, I, I just firmly believe that. Um, like I always say to each their own, nobody come for me, nobody put their things on here but that's just my beliefs um and that's how i remain sane <laughs> so um yeah so all that happened i had my scans i had a few scans and um baby looks good everything looks good baby's growing and so back to my little why i told you about my whole brother thought i brought it up so um, <sighs> everything happens in this world for a reason and unfortunately, so many things happen in life that you don't understand why, when, where, what, why. You question the world. Like, like when I say the world, you question the world. Like, I have questioned my whole life. <laughs> but when I was with all my other pregnancies, I've always been really close to my brother. And he's my only sibling that I had so like anything i would crave or anytime i wanted something and he was always like one of the first persons to know so it's so weird for me with this one right like it's just such a whole different vibe and everything just you know it's different so the day that they did tell me that i wasn't a topic i ran to the cemetery and to each their own everyone can do what they want do as they please but to me that was such a relief i ran to the cemetery i drove over there and I just sat there and I was bawling my eyes out and I was crying and I was crying and I was crying and I was just like, I know this was you because when I had my other topic pregnancy, my brother wasn't around at that time. He was not here. So he didn't know what was going on. And when he got out and I was explaining to him and we've always had a really good bond and a good relationship. And he was just so shook. He's like, I knew you were pregnant. I had a feeling you were pregnant. Like... He's like, um, he's like, just watch. And he, my brother would always tell me, like, may God bless you with many more kids. Like, we've had our ups and downs our whole life. But one thing he's always told me was that I was such a good parent. And I take that so wholeheartedly. Like, being the best mom or parent I can be means so much to me. Like, maybe one day I'll get into that and I'll explain a little bit more of why and what and just my whole freaking crazy backstory but um i just take that so wholeheartedly you know like being a parent to me is my number one priority and anyone can say that you know what i mean but i genuinely mean that like you know i i've been a mom since i'm 15 i'm 25 now i've been a mom for 10 years so I think in my mind, like, I've always had that mentality of everybody was would always tell me, like, I was going to fail. I was going to fail. I was so young and I was going to fail. And thank God I haven't. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've been thrown so many obstacles, like, 
if you guys know me personally you guys know like in the process of everything my whole life like how everything worked out for me is crazy but here i am four almost four kids later with a beautiful family with a great husband like if it wasn't for carlos i don't i know that sounds so corny but if it wasn't for carlos i don't know where i would be at as in he is my best friend like when i say he's my best friend i genuinely mean like carlos is my best friend like i tell carlos everything and anything like he knows everything and anything even stuff he doesn't want to know he knows because to me that's my best friend like you know like carlos is genuinely my my best friend like he is my backbone he is everything to me like if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be where i'm at now mentally physically emotionally because he literally is such a great person i'm not gonna get too into detail because of that because then i'm gonna really cry but um so yeah i've always been so used to having my brother here my brother here my brother here with my last pregnancy with madeline we got super close we've always been close but we got super close with that pregnancy because that's when we were gonna buy our house and i had to go live with my mom for a while um she has a, a little home that she would rent to us and it was just like a whole process like there was just so much that went on and he was so close to all my kids and you know like we've always had such a great bond so with this one it's kind of like damn like you know like it hits me but i try to think it's such a blessing and i call me crazy but i feel it's from him so my due date is june 13th if you guys don't know <laughs> i will be having a little gemini baby which i'm so excited for i'm so so excited i used to always say i would never want a gemini you know i'm super into zodiac signs i'm all about like all that stuff i'm gonna continue getting ready because maybe that'll help me not want to cry because right now i'm just like um but i would always be like i would never want to have a gemini like gemini's are this and that and like my brother's a gemini so i grew up with a gemini so my brother's birthday is june 11th um my brother's death date is july 13th so 13 to me right now that number is such a that's my angel number like i feel like anything that has to do with 13 i feel like that's my brother you know what i mean like that's why i said call me crazy call me whatever you want to call me but that's how i feel like it's funny because a little backstory be before i get straight into my video um my brother was doing so good before everything happened and he was shopping and he had called me one day he was like i got my mom's credit card like i'm gonna go shopping like you want something and i was like no you're freaking crazy like and he's like i'm gonna pay her back i'm gonna pay her back like you want something and i'm like no it's okay so he had ordered jerseys he was telling me he's like i ordered jerseys and i ordered this and they were like custom jerseys so long story short he ordered this D dodger jersey and my brother was really into dodgers and um he re I, we received the dodger jersey like a month after he passed or maybe three weeks after he passed and i open it and it says in the back it says saga and it has a number 13 and unfortunately he passed away on the 13th it has a number 13 i don't know if i said 13 or 14 sorry it has a number 13 on the back and it says saga which was the name he went by and that just blows my mind you know like just little things like that but so this pregnancy has been a rough one like you can only imagine like i'm pregnant i'm emotional i'm this i'm not like you know i try to see the best and everything and i try to not overthink things and i don't know if i mentioned it before but i do see a therapist now and i'm getting help and i'm learning how to live through this and cope with everything that's going on but yeah so that's basically like my little behind the story of finding out i was pregnant and my being misdiagnosed and all that um but overall um i've had morning sickness um i feel like the first 10 weeks were probably the worst um now i feel a lot better i do still throw up here and there but it's not like so dramatic i crave nothing but junk food like i'm always tired and i crave nothing but junk food so in my heart i feel like i'm having another boy but like i said anything that i have i'm gonna be super 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 excited for i don't care if it's a boy i don't care if it's a girl like i just want a healthy baby and that's all that matters but yeah that's a little update on my first trimester how everything's going i'm gonna 
be right back i'm gonna put on some brows and some lashes and then i'll be right back so i'm kind of like back on my trying to conceive journey i was actually never on a journey when i first found out i was pregnant back in um april just so you guys know i found out i was pregnant like an end of march but just so you know i was never trying um i don't even honestly swear to god i don't know how i got pregnant but um we were trying for another baby and we did say once madeline was closer to four years old we would have tried for our fourth baby and our fourth and our last baby um so right now i'm sitting on the toilet and um i took a pregnancy test we had to wait six months to try again after the whole topic pregnancy because um i had took some injections so i want to just document everything now so stay tuned okay so with that being said i've been on the toilet for about maybe two to three minutes i just had my missed period um technically i'm supposed to get my period today actually or yesterday I think it was yesterday and it's only been a day but I wanted to take a pregnancy test because my boobs have been hurting and I've been having like lower abdominal pain excuse me and I do have to go see a doctor right away if I am pregnant because they do need to make sure that I made it to my uterus this time because I have a higher risk of having another topic but I don't feel pregnant honestly and I'm not gonna be bum whatever lo que Dios quiere you know um but I wanted to do like a little pregnancy test on here like if i am pregnant and get my reaction because i'm gonna be real shook super 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 shook if i am pregnant so let's get my reaction let's see what happens let's look at the I'm test pick up the test now my heart's beating really fast do you see that do you see that Okay, I'm not gonna get excited. I'm not gonna get worked up. I'm actually gonna call the doctor. <sighs> I'm gonna call my mom. So I'm back in the restroom and I'm gonna take another test because I just wanna make sure that that one wasn't wrong. But I'm whispering because the kids are here and I don't want them to go. Okay, so I'm back. Um, but yeah, that's basically my first trimester, how everything's been going. Um, I am going to be having this video up really soon. And then after this video, I do want to do the gender predictions because today is Tuesday. And then on Sunday is my gender reveal. So I'm hoping I have this video up today. And if not today, for sure tomorrow. And then I'll have the gender predictions up on friday saturday and then um by monday i hope i have like the gender reveal up um but you guys will see like the gender if you guys follow me on social media and stuff because um like i know that my friends and family are gonna post it and i don't want to tell them not to post it which is kind of dumb and rude um i'm not gonna be like those like i'm not a big influencer but like i don't want to be like this influencers but that they just have you waiting and stuff like you will see it on my instagram and i'm gonna share my excitement with you guys but yeah i just want to close out the video here and um i just wanted to give you guys a little update and um i am recording on my phone so i did get a phone call right now i'm sorry about that but um i forgot what i was saying um Oh, that i don't want to be those influencers that have you waiting and you know i just want to share my excitement with you guys i am super excited 
this with this whole journey i don't want to make like my whole channel about like my pregnancy and all that but i did get requested um the gender predictions and i don't want to just bring out the gender predictions with the kind of like addressing that i'm pregnant on here because every social media platform is different for me um but yeah that's basically it um if you guys have any questions for me leave it down below i am going to be bringing like some fun videos to my channel i am i promise you i guess i am um trying to focus back on myself and what makes me happy and this genuinely makes me happy like i always tell you guys and i am gonna step up my game i promise like i know i say that all the time but this year i i'm i'm not gonna blame it on anything but this year has been such a rough year for me in general that i just needed like a I needed like a break i guess from life because it felt so good like i've been just home in bed now it's kicking my ass because i'm trying to clean up and catch up on my cleaning and catch up on being everything you know like a mom and it is the holidays um i do have another video coming out of my home decor for the christmas time which is a little late because it's almost christmas already but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed um comment down below um any videos you guys would like to see i am gonna get back into makeup again i love makeup i had started to tend to push more towards fashion which don't get me wrong i love fashion like i am super obsessed with clothes right now but i miss makeup like i'm sitting here and i'm getting ready with you guys and i genuinely genuinely miss getting ready and doing my makeup and being full glam and just feeling pretty because sometimes when i'm going through it i just want to feel pretty and feeling pretty i put on makeup <laughs> um don't get me wrong i don't feel that ugly without makeup like i might be a little ugly without makeup but i don't feel ugly which is i think it's a win-win for me but yeah um i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time guys oh wait, wait i want to give you guys a little bump update um i am in my second trimester i am pretty big for what i am um but i want to show you guys the belly so this is a little bump update this is my fourth pregnancy obviously so i am showing a lot faster and like i did say i do feel like it's a boy which i could be wrong we will find out um but yeah i do feel pretty big and yeah okay now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time